inside the room. Uh, Thomas, it's very nice to hear you. Do you have us uh, good? Yeah, I uh, hear you very well. All right. Uh, well, first of all, uh, we would like to say hello to you from uh, beautiful uh, Italy. And uh, everybody here wishes to convey to you our greetings. Thank you for, uh, for uh, uh, coming to us and being with us tonight. Thank you very much, Paul. It's a uh, pleasure on my side. Uh, it's uh, really great to be with you. And we have some good the last days, and it's always uh, really an uh, experience to see uh, Europe and uh, especially in beautiful countries from the uh, uh, past. Yes, thank you. And uh, uh, I also would like to you to forward my greetings and our greetings to Michael A. and to Misha. Today is Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving to Mike. Thank you very much. I will relay that. Okay, we we have uh, uh, three Italian journalists from the Italian press that would like to ask you some questions, so I will ask them to you. Here we go. Okay, Paolo. I have one question for my intervention. Two space works with uh, me in 1996, one with the International Space Station in 2006. We are the first uh, European astronaut for a long term mission on the ISS after Americans and Russians. You leave the past of space and now the present. What are the real uh, differences between missions of the 90s and actual missions in the third millennium? Well, I think that uh, with the experience we had in the last decade in the long term space flight or new space flight in general, we can say that at this time we were in space to explore this environment to see what possibility it uh, gives us. And now we are more in the situation of utilizing um, all this environment here. Yeah, and indeed, the International Space Station is an excellent platform, not only for utilizing uh, space for research for science, but also as a stepping stone for further exploration of space back to the moon and maybe. Um, 